morning, Ben the Pat Tester here, uh, Pat testing a music shop this morning, so a load of sound equipment, keyboards, all that sort of thing. So it should be fairly straightforward, so uh, hopefully I'll be able to film some of it for you and then um, we'll pick up on some bits and uh, go from there. Here's a tricky one for you, I don't know if you've ever come across this before, but when you're Pat testing Apple Max, um, it's an aluminium case. But when you're trying to pat test the class one appliance and try and get an earth reading, it's impossible to get an earth reading off, off of this aluminium case for some reason. Now, the only place you can get an earth reading, rightly or wrongly, is off of the, um, the metal socket in the USB uh, ports. Um, I mean, rightly or wrongly, you know, I would class that still as an exposed metal part. I and mean, if you're pulling out the USB there, there's a chance you could touch the exposed metal there. Uh, be interesting to know your thoughts on it. But that is the only place I can seem to find an earth on these things. So um, let me know if you, uh, if you find anything different. Now, here's a typical piece of music equipment. Um, you'll find a lot of these music pieces are powder coated, both on the back and on the front, um, this is all metal up here, but it's all powder coated. Sometimes you get some exposed screws um, or the jack socket there, but even that's powder coated. Um, sometimes you can pull these knobs off. Um, sometimes um, you have to just make a tiny little scratch on the powder coating just in the corners. I don't like doing it, but that's, again, that's the only way to get enough. Now, luckily on this one, this is all the wooden case but actually um, all of these screws I could get an earth reading off of that so they must go through into um, the metal casing um, underneath so just something to uh, to watch out for when you do these because they can be a bit tricky so um, we see more and more of these um, ubiquity um, Wi-Fi adapters um, now they're plugged in uh, to the mains with a clover leaf cable, but it's very easy to just think that these are just AC adapters. And um, AC adapters only need a visual test. You can see about that in some of my other videos. Um, but these particular adapters, they have got exposed metal on the top around the Cat5, Cat6 ports on the top. And you can get an earth reading off them so you need to treat these as a class one appliance um, a lot of these adapters don't have any exposed metal parts so visual only these particular ones do so they are classed as a class one appliance easy to miss that one um, but worth looking out for i've only seen it with ubiquity there are some other unbranded ones they're like a network port but they're plugged directly into the mains kind of without some of them have ac adapters but this one's plugged directly into 230 volt mains 